Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your September 2020 general reading. Now it's a general reading so it will not resonate with every Cancer, but if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, it is much appreciated. Let's jump into this Cancer. Uh, thank you to those who do like, share, comment, it is much appreciated. All right. Cancer, oh my gosh, she has so much going on. I mean, it's just, it's just so much, it's too much, it's too much. Um, it's not too much. It looks like cancer is on the brink of making some very heavy, big shifts, changes in their life, in their love life, in their career also. Um, cancer, it looks like you were dealing with someone from the past or, or someone who you have a significant past from. This could, for, so... The story is different, of course, for you all. But the ending is kind of the same, okay? So some of you could have been dealing with someone who you were never married to. You just have a significant past with. They were either in and out of your life or you in and out of theirs. It was just mutual. Some of you are dealing with someone who you were married to. You do have children or there are children, um, you know, in, in the midst of the relationship. Um... And that's your, you know, that's how your relationship is defined. That's how it's going to play out for you. Um, it looks like some of you, the single ones or the kind of single ones, you might have had two people or someone you're dealing with had two people that they had to make a choice of. If this is you, Cancer, I can only... You know, come from your perspective, this is your reading. You had a choice of two people. One you really wanted, but they they com they confused you. That it was so much confusion. They ran hot and cold for you. You didn't know if, if they wanted the relationship in its entirety or they just wanted a piece of you or a piece of the relationship it looks like cancer got to a place or to a point or this is someone else you were dealing with cancer where they cut you out either someone cut you out cancer or you cut someone else out someone decided to go out on their own okay single or, or date around and then you came to a place or they came to a place of regret, of hesitating before making a decision, um, wanting you back, missing you. You have the I miss you shell. See that? Someone caused you so much confusion or you caused someone so much confusion that it almost turned into mental issues. Some of you had to go back and really deal with some mental issues, maybe surrounding your mother. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. You had to rectify that situation so it would not come into the present relationship. Or you had to rectify some situation of you being a mother. Maybe you had to get better at that. You had to do better. Some of you stay blindfolded and in a relationship because you didn't want to face the fact that maybe you like the same sex. It looks like now you're coming out of that. You're not hesitating before making that decision to do, to be with, to be free. Some of you had to put an old relationship to bed. Or you had to put an old way of thinking, an old disappointment, put it to rest. Some of you are in the midst of divorce and you're starting something new in the midst of ending something also. Or if it's not divorce, it's just separation. It's separation from a person that you were tied to, 
you you see it's not going to work you have to you had to or you will check out emotionally move away from this person you might have children with them you might have a significant past with them you could be older younger or vice versa you have to find peace and clarity and the only way to do that is to walk away it looks like in this spread for love like i said some of you could be walking away into maybe a new relationship a new engagement we have marriage we have the ace of pentacles and we have the five of wands which says new love new marriage Some of you walked away from something and, and the some of you who already had two people in the running, you just walked away from one situation that just wasn't serving you anymore and you decided to make it happen with someone else, with the other person. You made the choice. You understand that some person, place or thing was or is your destiny. You might be dealing with someone who you either had a long-term commitment with Maybe in the past or somebody you dealt with in the past, but there was no commitment on your behalf. But now you're you're you might be fully committed to this person or wanting to commit. Because you finally let something or someone go. Once again, someone caused you so much frustration. I don't know if I, I showed it to you. Mental issues. They cause you mental issues here. Okay, and some of you had to deal with some mental issues and really address them. Okay, somebody had a hold on you, was doing magic. It looked like it didn't take a real effect. And we have the magic shell here. Someone just was telling lies, outright lies, and maybe that's why you felt like you had to move on and you had to get away from this person because it just wasn't going to go in your favor. Some of you stay blindfolded to the fact that it's not working, but then you eventually moved on and moved away. You gained some clarity about how it's just not going to work with this person. And the other option, if you did have another option, just started to make sense it just started to present itself to you in a more positive a better light maybe because you stopped talking to this person they were not exactly in your energy but they were still in your heart and it made you Think of them more. We do have the thoughts here. It made you think about the relationship more. It made you miss this person or vice versa. This is how they felt about you when you walked away, when you left. Some of you want to come out of separation with a significant person. You're no longer in a place of indecision. So it's, it's like, well, why am I separated from the person that I really want to be with anyhow? Some of you were dealing with a Sagittarius, a Pisces person. They miss you. You miss them. But you just keep telling yourself nothing has changed with this person. Yes, the relationship was, it was okay. It wasn't bad. We, we, we established some things together, but it's really not what I want. It's not what I deserve is what some of you are saying. Some of you So there's a significant person who might be in and out of your life. You might be holding the sort of truth to them now, asking the question, well, what is it you really want from me? Why do you keep coming in and out of my life? 
you might even be, for some of you, dealing with a married individual. So all they can offer are fun times. You may be trying to cut that out of your life now. Because you might be wishing and hoping for something more, more fulfilling. Or it says make a wish. It could very well come true at this time. Some of you had gone through some surgery. There were some, some health-related issues. With this sun card here, things are going to get better, but not without you um, doing your work. You might need to get a second or third opinion. Change something about your health care regimen. Um, some of you, the cards are, asked, are just suggesting maybe there needs to be a dietary change. Um, veganism, vegetarianism, pescatarianism, or just, you know, cut down on whatever. I don't know. I don't know your life. Um, for some of you, you really had to make some decisions about your love life, about your career and finance, and you had to volunteer some information to maybe someone that you're keeping in the dark or keeping confused, or this is vice versa. This is how someone had to, you know, had to operate with you. Um... In career and finance, it looks very good. The cards are saying that you're on the right path. You finally walked away maybe from a career, job, whatever, um, that was just not going to fulfill you. Or you're finally getting enough gumption to walk away if you have not walked away just yet. Um, it says that honor your commitments, whatever you're doing right now, whatever you're putting yourself in, whatever you're putting your money into, Whatever type of business you are doing, have a have some routine and regimen. Honor your commitments. There's a guardian angel watching out for you. They want you to have this significant change. You're going to have success and maybe even help in business. And we do have the business shell here. I don't know if you can read that. Yeah, okay. So for some of you, if you have your own business, definitely highlight it here. If you don't and you work for someone, your business is your job. Promotion, uh, recognition, success, help in your business, in your job. Maybe from someone who's really high up or has some authority. Maybe some of you are lawyers or you need to sit with a lawyer, a CPA, a judge, um, an administrator. Someone who is fair and just. This could be you in your own business. This is how you run your business. Um, there's all. They're also asking that you operate in whatever you're doing with a level of strategy, logic, and rationale. What makes sense? Always ask yourself that question is what this card is saying. It's saying that money matters. If things are money, there's going to be good news of it. You might even learn something new, or you might be, this is like self-taught or self-learning. You might be learning something new uh, by way of the worldwide internet, right? Um, the world wide web. Boom. <laughs> um, some of you are very good leaders. If you're in a, a, a commerce type of business or of your own or, or, or someone else's, it says that this is really good for you. There's going to be a lot of exchange here. You know, your service or your product for money. Um, it, it, it's working. It's good for you. Um, it says that you're a good leader. You're active. Um, you're motivated. It says stay on that path. Very good. Um, because um, maybe a new moon in Taurus, maybe next year, prosperity lies ahead for you for, for all the work that you're doing now. For you honoring your commitments now. Um, some of you, back to some health-related issues, maybe even some mental-related issues. It says that a personal issue reaches uh, resolution. Um, and this is full moon in Cancer. So maybe around the time of, of your birthday, I don't know, you know, a full moon in Cancer, something could come to resolution. So this is, could be definitely significant to you. For you, Cancer, 
some of you are dealing with a Leo person. Um, yep, because we got it here. Uh, it's saying don't let your pride get in, in the way of whatever you're trying to um, bring about or whomever you're trying to be with. Whatever it is you've got going on, don't let your pride get in the way is what they're um, asking you or, or um, helping you to bring to remembrance. Don't let your pride get in the way in terms of friendship because um, you might get a message of concern from someone. And maybe they aren't your friend anymore. Or maybe um, they have backstabbed you. Or, yeah, we have that. We have, or someone has disappointed you. And now they're leaning on you. It says, um, don't let your pride get in the way. Uh, if someone needs you at a place of, of them having no one else, I think you won, Mary. You, you should be big enough to know that you've won. Um, you have the upper hand in that situation. And uh, try to do the right thing. Um, this card is highlighted and it came out of the middle of the deck, self-employment says whatever path you're on, you're on a good one. It's going to take some time to see some real money. But that's okay because um, it's all going to come together for you, okay? Make sure you do that healing of your solar uh, plexus. Some of you are going to, um, to reunite, reunite or make a significant... Um, this. Some of you might propose or someone's proposing to you. Wow, things are happening really fast. Someone's being very demanding about um, getting together, being together. Um, they want to honor their commitment with you. This is you, Cancer, or someone else you're dealing with. Someone is ready to take the leap of faith. Yes, looks like a proposal here um, of something, moving in together. Um, it could even be of marriage. We do have that card. Um With no major arcana here, it looks like it's really, well, with one major, it looks like it's really up to you. It's up to you. Um, someone needs to see you or you need to see someone else in a different light. Okay? You need to understand why you haven't had what it is you want and what is what are you doing to hold that back? This is what the cards are asking you to ask yourself. Um, don't be, don't let pride get in the way of an apology or of accepting an, an apology. We have the King and Queen of Wands, very fiery connection, very, um, very independent. These could be some very, uh, dynamic individuals. Okay. So, um, Somebody wants to propose marriage to you, but I don't see it. Um, it's not coming as quickly as you think it should, Cancer. Um, or maybe, Cancer, you're not doing it as quickly as you think you should be doing it or, or as quickly as the other person thinks you should be doing it. But the feelings, the emotions are there. Lots of um, things you both still need to iron out between the two of you. Some of you could be long distance or just haven't seen a person in a very long time. But someone could be your destiny. Someone is very attractive. This could be you, Cancer. This could be the other person you're dealing with. Um, we did have the Queen and King of Wands. We have the King of Swords now three times. Because I, I view him as the King of Swords, the Ice King. This could be you, Cancer. This could be someone you're dealing with. It seems as if they're, they're miles away from you, miles apart, thousands of miles apart because of the emotional disconnectedness. Disconnectedness. But it says you have the opportunity to, to bring, um, to change that, to bring you, to, for you guys to come back together with the Three of Cups. Um, and you're hoping and you're wishing that you guys can come back together. Um, and, and that's good. Um, but it says honor commitments here. It looks like it could pay off for you and your career and finance. It says that maybe um, with you leaving someone else behind or someone leaving you behind, now someone understands 
and what another person means to them. And they might want to honor their commitment with you. They want to take things to the next level. There could even be a proposal of marriage here. There was someone thinking that the grass is or was greener on the other side. And quite frankly, by looking at these cars, it just isn't. It just wasn't. Um, someone needs to do the right thing. Wants to do the right thing. Okay. Uh, so from the practical witch's spell deck, we had the soulmate spell. And this came out for Aquarius also. I'm going to post these, and and if you want to take part in these these spells, go ahead. They're not very hocus pocus and witchy, and you have to do anything crazy. You're not standing under the moonlight at 3:30 p. a.m. in the morning, and you it's just it's it's just really um they're practical as the the word implies, um like. This one, I'll give you a synopsis. It says, you know, get some rose quartz and um, two pink candles, and they tell you what to do with those. So just things that um, are, are really simple. I do have pink candles at my website at the link below, but you can get pink candles anywhere, guys. Um, Garden of Enchantment, this talks about bringing into fruition or quote-unquote planting um, the seeds in your life and that you're not really going to plant anything. Like I said, it's just, um, more so, um, symbolism. You're going to get a handful of beans that you have in your pantry or seed, seed packages. If you do have a garden and you're going to use those, um, this says make your own bell tan brew. I don't exactly know what that is. But it says it's for the holidays, for dancing, laughter, um, and lots of love making. Okay, and um, the yeah, just things that I'm I'm reading here on the card: yeast, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, things that we have in our pantries. Okay, so um, if you want to take part in those, those will be posted for you. Also, at the bottom of the deck, um, we have the herbal healing essence, and we do have um three cards of yeah three cards of health and we had the three of swords twice some of you may have to endure some surgery or there might be some pain here for you um so take advantage of the herbal if i can herbal healing essence i'm going to also take a picture of that and post it up for you um rosemary sandalwood a red carnation um, olive oil, things of those natures that help you heal if you're in a place of needing to make a dietary uh, change or a health care um, change also. Okay, so um, those are here for you. I hope that you take part in those uh, cancer. Have a really good month. It looks interesting. It looks like something could come about. Something's on the brink of, it looks like you're really decisive or someone around you is decisive in, in regards to what it is they want to do next with their life or the next phase and next chapter here. Uh, take care. If you feel like you need a personal reading, all of the links are below. Go over to the website, book there, or take advantage of the text question. You can text your question to the number below. Pay for your question. Receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Take advantage of that. Thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you.